What is the meaning of finding feathers? Wondering what it means when you keep finding feathers. The meaning of feathers is closely tied to the sacred, as can be seen in their use in many different cultures and traditions around the world. Interestingly, feathers are also one of the most common physical signs used by angels to get our attention. So here are three things you need to know about what it means when you find feathers. 1. Symbolic of the ability to fly through higher dimensions when angels align feathers on our paths it's a sign. The angel feathers, of course, don't really come from angel wings. They are feathers from birds, however, they're highly symbolic of angels. So the first thing that you need to know about finding feathers as a sign from the angels, is that feathers are little symbols of angel wings. Feathers represent the ability angels have to fly through the higher dimensions. Angels are, of course, spiritual beings of light and love. They're not physical beings and they don't really have or need wings to fly. But the wings angels are so commonly depicted with, are symbolic of their ability to fly. Wings also symbolize the ability of angels to clearly transmit and deliver the messages of the divine, the messages of the infinite, the messages of source to us in the physical. So if you think of a feather as symbolizing one small part of an angel's wing, that can bring some insight into what finding a feather means for you. It's a puzzle piece and little reminder that you too have the ability to fly in the higher dimensions of spirit. Yes, you are a physical being, yes, you are hardwired and programmed to be focused in physical reality, but you can choose to learn to reconnect and to link with the higher dimensions to fly, to lift, to expand, to embrace the love and beauty and peace and wisdom and light of the higher spiritual realms. So when you find a feather, the meaning is not only a sign that your angels are with you, but it's also a call to tune into the angelic energy around you, in the moment, and around you in every moment laying just beneath the surface of your normal waking mind and beckoning you to tune in. And so, to tune into the presence of angels, quiet your mind, pause your thoughts, find the space between your thoughts and dive inward tuning into gold and white light in your mind, letting that inner light expand and illuminate you. Then tune into the light within your heart center, letting that light expand all around you, above, and below, illuminating your central column, your ascension pillar, your column of glory at the center of your being with golden and white light and just breathe and tune into the light. Observe, and know that when you are in this receptive state, with your central column of light ignited, your vibration is raising and you are becoming a vibrational match with the energy and frequency of the higher angelic realm. When you just observe, when you're receptive without judging what appears, deeper levels of angelic guidance, love, healing, and frequency can flow in to uplift you. The level to which you're able to receive is directly correlated to your ability to not react. So you may be tuned into this inner meditation when an angel steps forward and you get excited and react and thinking, oh my gosh, and then they're gone. But if you're able to simply hold the field of presence, hold the field of love observing through neutrality, the angels stepping forward for you can then move on to transmit frequency, love, healing, light, and blessings upon you. And yes, all that is possible in the moment when you find a feather. Two miracles abound the second thing you need to know about finding feathers as a sign from the angels is that it is a reminder that miracles are possible. Sponsored links if you really think about it, although there are tons of birds in the world, and tons of feathers floating around, still the odds of a feather aligning on your path at that specific moment, that draws your attention that sparks your awareness about angels, providing validation and reminding you to tune in to your direct connection with the angels. That is miraculous. Angel feathers are reminders that miracles are real, and that miracles are possible in your life. And just as the angels, can line that feather upon your path, they can also align much greater opportunities, opening doors, aligning chance meetings, aligning miraculous possibilities into your life, with your permission. Putting a feather on your path is not really interfering with your free will. So the angels are able to do that at any time, but aligning a chance meeting or a huge new opportunity may change your trajectory and go against your free will. 
And so if you'd like bigger angel intervention in your life, ask your angels for help because that is what is required for them to intervene and to really assist you at the highest levels aligning to miracles in your life. 3. Lightness within your heart center The third thing that I want you to know about finding angel feathers can be recognized by tuning into one of the key the qualities of a feather. Lightness. If you throw a feather up into the air, it gently flutters down, and that lightness is representative of the quality of your heart center required for you to access the higher angelic realms. Lightness within your heart center is required for you to access and embody the highest gifts, wisdom, and frequency of your soul. It's a reminder to take things lightly, to reconnect and cultivate a sense of lightness within your heart and to remember that angelic energy is playful, joyful, and loving. Sponsored links and the more you're able to cultivate those qualities of lightness, joy, and laughter into your own experience, the more you're able to flow through your life with grace and ease, attracting the miracles, attracting the blessings, and attracting the positive qualities of the divine into your being. As a result, you begin to magnetize through resonance blessings and divinely orchestrated experiences in your life. Through an inner sense of lightness, you've cultivated in your being. So those are the three things that I think you should know about finding feathers, which bring highly symbolic guidance from the angels. Angels are spiritual beings, and so to tune into them, it requires you shifting your mode of awareness away from being solely focused on the physical into the inner subtle psychic senses. Angels are always speaking, they're always communicating, and they're always guiding you, but much of that guidance is simply not felt or heard. And so, they use signs to get your attention and while the sign itself has meaning. Remember that with every angel sign there is a call to tune in to access at a deeper level, the true angelic energy, guidance and presence available to you in that moment. Not receiving angel signs like feathers? Finally, if you don't feel like you're receiving angel signs, don't worry. It doesn't mean you don't have angels with you and it doesn't mean that you're not loved and guided and supported. If you're not receiving signs from your angels, it simply means you're not aware of them yet. And one of the best things you can do to start receiving more angel signs is to ask, Angels, please bring me a sign today of your love, guidance, and presence so that I may step into a higher level of being of service. If you sincerely and openly ask that now, and go ahead and do it, angels bring me a sign today, know that they will. Now it's only a matter of you being open, being receptive, and paying attention in the moment which requires.